The failure of FTX, according to billionaire tech executive Michael Saylor, exposes issues with crypto exchanges and is likely to attract more investors to Bitcoin. The executive chairman of MicroStrategy allegedly broke down what happened with FTX for Fox Business, making money with Charles Payne on Tuesday, describing it as a horrible circumstance. Today's video is about what Michael Saylor has to say in the wake of the FTX collapse. At Finance Doc, we will be sharing more explanation videos related to cryptocurrencies, trading, forex and many more. When the name is as big as Michael Saylor, it ought to be quite impactful on any topic related to crypto world. So watch this video till the end and hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notifications for our future videos. So let's begin the video. Sailor drew attention to the fact that FTX developed tokens like FTT and Serum, supported others, and then transferred those tokens to Alameda, the hedge fund run by FTX founder and CEO Sam Bankman-Fried. When that happened, Saylor claimed, they were able to push the price of those tokens up through insider wash trading because the supply was mostly in friendly hands. According to him, the price finally increased to a $14 billion overall accounting value. Who actually is responsible for the FTX crypto collapse? Saylor said to host Charles Payne that, typically, the cynical Bitcoiners assume that these crypto casinos are merely manipulating the price of the token up to dump it on retail. But, Bankman Fried gave the whole thing a particularly nefarious twist. Saylor claimed that Bankman Fried attempted to use the $14 billion in erroneous tokens created through Insider, trading as collateral for a $10 billion loan, but his own bank was the only one prepared to approve the loan. Saylor claims that this is how Bankman Fried very covertly and dishonestly siphoned off $10 billion or more of real assets out of FTX and Alameda where they proceeded to spend the money on politicians, lobbyists, stadium rights, advertising, celebrity endorsements, and condos in the Bahamas, and then they traded a bunch and made a bunch of bad trades, and then they lost the money. If you are still watching this video, don't forget to click on the like button and comment how you feel about it. Weaknesses are exposed by FTX-driven crypto chaos, but this is not another 2000 DOT cum debacle. Saylor, who is still a strong supporter of Bitcoin, asserts that other investors would turn to the virtual currency as a result of the bad scenario with FTX. He referred to Bitcoin as the world's most powerful computing network and said it fits the bill for investors who don't trust traditional or virtual banks as well as those looking for alternatives to fiat currencies with declining values. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.